Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mojax, and today we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm shooting this video as live. It's going to be a bit messy, but I've tried to do my whole voiceover B roll thing with this, and I just can't make sexy B roll footage of black and grey DJ bags. I can't make them look visually exciting. It's not going to happen, but this review is well, well overdue because I first got hold of the Solid Blaze packs from Magma back in like the beginning of 2020 and then you know that whole pandemic thing happened and I wasn't leaving the house so I didn't have a lot of use for DJ bags then things opened up and I started using them and they just integrated themselves seamlessly into my DJ life and it got to the point where it's like it's too late to review them and oh, I've missed the boat and it's not right and I just timing wasn't a thing it didn't happen but then at NAMM this year they announced the new version the 180 and I realized this is my opportunity. Let me talk about these bags because I really want to talk about the Solid Blaze bags because truth is they are my favorite bags. I always caveat, you know, my bag reviews saying, look, there are lots of great bags on the market for different users, different needs. I love bags from UDG. I love bags from Jetpack. I love bags from Odyssey. I've got some great ones in the lab on test right now, okay? But yeah, being honest, these are my favorite DJ bags. These are my go-tos. The 120 and the 80 have been my most used bags since I first got them. I use them week in, week out. They are my favorites and therefore I have to talk about them. It, they deserve the coverage here on the channel because it's not right that I've had them and I've used them so long and I've never discussed them. Because when people ask me, you know, friends ask me, what, what bag should I get? Top of my list since I got these, has been the Magma Solid Blaze. Let's talk about them. We have three varieties. We have the 80, we have the 120, and then we have the new one, the 180. We'll come back to the 180 in a bit. That's the new big one. We're going to start with the 80. Now, what's all this numbering system about? Well, this is the interesting part. It's not about capacity or anything like that. The number actually refers to the amount of half-litre plastic bottles that are used and recycled in order to make these bags. So the outer material is made from recycled plastic bottles. That's great for the environment. You know, recycling is great, like Adidas and their Parley and what have you. It's, it's really good to see recycled materials used in this way, as long as those materials are good. And yeah, as you'll see, as we go through, this is a very durable material indeed. So yeah, it's 80 bottles are used to make this one. 120 for the next one up and then 180 bottles recycled for the next one so i love that you know the eco credentials definitely on point we should all be thinking about that let's talk about this one it is the smallest of the three this is my like day-to-day go-to bag this is the one that i will bring here to the lab for example i bought it here this morning it's got stuff in there that i'm using for filming today that kind of thing so yeah we can see this is three years old now it's been used day in day out completely almost looking brand new you know this outer material is fantastic the inside is this kind of softer material there and we've got a big pocket on the front just throw all my bits and bobs in the front there it's water resistant that's the thing the outer material is water resistant as are the zips and i have used these bags in all kinds of conditions i've walked through you know proper rain showers with these i never have any fear that my stuff inside is going to get wet they're not waterproof you know, you can't have a bath with them. But yeah, in terms of getting caught in the rain on the way to a gig, nah, no problem whatsoever. So you've got that big pocket in the front. We have a zippy pocket on the side, which will hold a drink bottle. That's very important. You've got to stay hydrated, kids. So yeah, I love that. Put a reusable water bottle in the side and carry that with me. Then we move on to the first section, the front, the main section here. Zip it open. And again, you know, you can see there's dings on here, right? This is clearly used, but none of this, there's no holes anywhere, there's no pulls, there's no tears. This material has held up incredibly well. So you've got these mesh pockets. We have a zippy one there, can hold plenty of things. Elasticated ones there that will pull out and you've got space to put bits and bobs. This one I use a lot, this zip one on here. That's where I keep all my SD cards and USB sticks and drives, etc. So that's a really nice secure pocket there. This one zips up too. More kind of pouch style pockets 
on the rear and then one which I will typically throw all my cables into. If you've got headphones to go in, they'll typically go in there. And again, three years in, all right? It's been used for three years. Yeah, it's been battered, you can see, but it's still holding up incredibly well. So from a value point of view, from a durability point of view, I love it. And that's a pretty big section. Now you're not gonna fit like a mixer or something in there. This is not designed for that. This is the 80, this is the smaller one. You can fit some vinyl in there. It's not really ideal compared to the others. You know, the bigger ones are better at holding your control vinyl, so you can fit vinyl in there. You know, there's plenty of space to fit various bits in there. But this one is for the DJ who travels a bit lighter. You know, it's not that thick front to back. It's absolutely suitable for, you know, overhead compartment use on an airplane or something like that. I've taken this on many flights with me. Never had a problem from that point of view. Then we get on to, we have another section on the rear, which will comfortably hold a 16 inch MacBook Pro with another pocket in front of that, which will hold a tablet or what have you. And again, there is space. You can slot your control vinyl in the back section too. So you could put that in there, put your laptop stand in the front, maybe laptop and so on in the back. We have another zip pocket here. Great for keeping stuff really safe. Like that's where I tend to keep my passport, etc. when I'm traveling. And then that's the rear section. Then we come out to the rear itself. All the bags are quite similar from this point of view. We have, again, I've used this bag most days in the past three years. Straps are looking great, right? Straps are looking great. We have a, an extra strap to go across and stabilize it across your stomach or across the front of your chest. We have lots of adjustment. All the seams looking really good. We have a top handle. We have a strap so you can put it onto a trolley and we have this padded section here which is also a zippy pocket so you can fit really important stuff you want to keep really safe like your wallet or whatever can go in there lots of padding comfortable on your back absolutely just yeah the solid blaze 80 really really nice bag not the biggest and so therefore not the one because i carry a lot of stuff when i dj i'm one of these djs who tends to overpack so i will generally go for instead the 120. So this is the 120. We are going up in terms of size now. We have a same material everywhere. I have a front pocket, lots of space in there for cables. Got the little kind of elasticated pouches, a zip pouch on the front. Then we have a larger pocket here, which will comfortably hold a big set of headphones. We'll go into that pocket right there you'll see the inside of that when we open it up so that is the front then we have the main body of the bag which goes kind of up and over and then the two larger ones so the 120 and the 180 do come with various bits of padding which easily velcros into place and you can use for dividing things up this one will hold a battle mixer like an S9, an S11, Rain 72, something like that. I don't tend to carry my mixer with me on my back. Um, I will generally carry that in like a control case from Magma, something like that. Uh, you know, what would they call a, a soft case or a hard bag? I will carry that separately because I don't want to be too weighed down on my back. You know, I carry enough stuff already. Laptop stand, control vinyl, loads of cables, laptop, etc. So I, I generally carry my mixer separately, but you can easily fit a mixer in here. I'll put photos up as well from the Magma site to show what kind of stuff you can fit in. When you have got a big item in there, you can strap it down with these elasticated straps to keep it into place, put your dividers in. And you can see this is pretty deep. You know, you have a lot of space there. You know, that is like hand length, loads of room. Here's the inside of that pocket. So that's the one where you put your headphones or other large items like that. More mesh pockets here. And this one does expand out as well. So this one has a expansion zip that goes right around. And when it's not expanded, again, still pretty good for airline travel. It will fit, you know, within the hand baggage restrictions of most airlines from my experience. If I'm doing a longer trip and I'm taking lots of stuff, I will take this on a plane. If I'm doing a short trip, I will take the smaller one. 
We have other pockets on the side. Now this is something that's missing on this one because I kind of pulled it out because I don't really use it. There is a pocket on the side there which has a little, again, expandable little pouch. You can put stuff in there, but also it has a connector for a power bank. I pulled the cable out because it's just not something I use, but it does feed in through here. I'll show you on the bigger bag. We have big side pockets which expand right out. So you can fit pens, you can fit all manner of things in there. And again, a mesh pocket on the side little key ring thing as well you can clip things onto for your keys to keep them safe that kind of stuff and on the other side we have another one which is more designed for drinks so this one expands out and you can easily again fit a water bottle or something in the side of there always important to keep liquids with you when you're traveling so that's really good we get to the expansion bit there you can see how that zips up and around and adds you know like a couple of inches extra onto the bag and the actual depth of it so you want to fit a lot of gear in there you can and then we have a rear section again if I can find the zip and again i'll note you know these zips three years deep with these first two bags zips are all perfect no issues with any zips whatsoever again we have a big slot for your laptop so 16 inch laptop get a tablet in front of that loads of room for control vinyl or whatever else in front so typically in this one, I'll slot the vinyl into the back there with the laptop. That keeps it nice and flat, keeps it nice and safe. We have another zip pocket inside that rear compartment. So lots of little places to stash all your gear, all your bits and bobs. Strap situation, very, very similar. Again, nicely padded. Again, has the bit to go across your stomach or your chest. Adjustable. We have bits to clip things onto at the top again three years in all looking really good we have the strap for a trolley and we have the zip pocket on the rear as well we also with this one because you might be expanding it out there are little straps that go on the side so yeah this is my go-to bag this has been my go-to bag now for, for the best part of three years and i use it all the time and as you can see this material incredibly durable the inside material yeah it's taking a beating still incredibly durable really really solid and i'm going to try not to use the word solid because it's like a terrible pun in this review but these are they're just solid bags so let me get on to the reason why we've made this new one this video today we have the 180 which is a big boy will easily hold a mixer like the Denon 1850, like a four channel mixer, you know, a 12 inch mixer fit in here, no problem. Again, we have lots and lots of different divider options, different padding options, including this big section, which can actually divide it in half. So if you want to put something like a mixer in the back and protect it and have other stuff in the front section, you can do that. Inside there, we have another big pocket for cables, headphones, etc. And you can lay this out however you like. Again, I'll show you images from the Magma website. This one again expands, so it goes out super deep. You fit loads of stuff in here. The front section on this one is where you will typically put your laptop. There's a massive, see my whole arm disappearing inside there. Yep, so yep, no problem with that. There is your cable for your power bank adapter. So you would just plug in your phone cable on the side and plug it into a power bank which can live inside the bag itself so for charging on the go we have two big pockets on the front which can be unzipped and they've got zip sections and expandable pouch sections and a zip section on the front of each one so two different sizes you know this reminds me in many ways of the older magma riot packs that i used to use a long time ago i really loved those and they're, they're fantastic so the layout of this is very kind of similar to that we have again straps on the side to kind of cinch things down and just overall it's a beast it's an absolute beast rear section same thing again same kind of straps we have extra support for the waist in a big waist strap um, we have the padding for your back you're going to need it if you really fill this thing up we have the zip pocket behind and again a strap to go onto a suitcase or a trolley so the 180 yeah fantastic now i'll be honest this is not really the one for me you also have a side handle on here as well which is quite interesting you don't get that on the others but of course if you're going to have like a heavy mixer or something in here you might want to carry it 
like that instead of vertically. But yeah, this is probably not the one for me. When I'm DJing, I generally take my mixer separate and have everything else in my backpack. I find if I have my mixer in the back as well, it just gets a bit much. I feel like I'm going to topple over or something. It's just it's not quite right for me. But I know a lot of DJs who do work like that. They just want one bag to carry all of their stuff with them throughout their, you know, when they're going out to a gig. So this does make sense. My favorite for my DJing, because of what I carry and how I carry it, is going to remain the 120. You know, I love that 120 a lot. The 80 is my day-to-day, -day, my go-to for that. But yeah, the 180, fantastic. Now, of course, I've been putting the prices and so on up on the screen. So you know what these cost. They're not cheap. You know, Magma bags, are they're up there with the rest of the market. Absolutely, they're not bargain bags or anything like that. But as you could see, and I will bring one of the older ones back up. Let's bring back up the 120. As I say, I've been using this for three years. And you can see it's been used, right? You can, you know, there's marks and so on. It's definitely been used, but there's no flaws in this. To this day, there are no flaws in this bag. Not a single one of the zips has gone. You know, nothing's fallen off that I haven't deliberately taken off. All the interior looks great. The exterior looks great and still remains water resistant. So I'm just, I'm very glad that I finally got around to making this video because, yeah, you know, as I said at the start, these are my favorite bags. I'm not saying they're the best bags. There is no such thing as a best product in this category because everyone's needs and tastes are different. But these are my favorite bags on the market and I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that. You know, I, sometimes you just have to put your stake in the ground and yeah, these are my favorite bags. I love them, I absolutely do. And I will continue to use them as we move forward with my DJing. You know, I can't wait to get this big one back because this has been now in the lab for like a couple of weeks and I've used another bag, which has been great for, you know, another one that I've, but no, I want to get back to using the Solid Blaze 120. This is my favorite bag to DJ with. Fully, fully recommended by me, absolutely. So. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit looser than usual. As I say, it's not my normal style, but I just felt this was the only way to really cover these bags and, and give you the insight and the depth of what we're talking about here without you know, trying to make sexy B-roll out of black and gray DJ bags. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, in the comments, tell us about your favorite bags because I'm sure lots of you will have other favorite bags and that's the beauty of taste, right? Everyone's got their own. So tell us about your favorite bag. Is it a UDG, a Magma? Is it an older one, a newer one? Are you still rocking some kind of, you know, record bag from a 90s record store you used to frequent? Or yeah, just tell us about your favorites because I want to hear that. So drop those in the comments below. In the meantime, thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.